Hello everyone, I'm back. It's Professor McAllister here and today I'm going to talk to you about how to distinguish the difference between facts and opinions on the T's. So let's get started. A fact is information that can be verified. It can be proven. For example, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in Ford's theater. The location of his death can be verified by viewing historical documents. Statements of fact do not contain any opinions. For example, it is 70 degrees outside. That's a fact. Now, compare that to, it is too hot outside. That is an opinion. And as an extra tip, if the passage contains numbers, it is almost always a fact. Facts do not reveal the author's feelings in the passage. Example, the Washington Capitals won the 2017-2018 Stanley Cup. That's a fact. Compared to the Stanley Cup playoff games were exciting. That's an opinion. Let's look at an example of what a question on the T's might look like. Which of the following statements is a fact? A. It seems like a college education is becoming more expensive every day. B. The game starts at 7.30 Thursday evening. C. Students should always take notes during lectures. D. The anatomy and physiology one professor is the best I have ever had. Take a minute and look at those. Okay. The correct answer is B. The game starts at 7.30 Thursday evening. That is a statement of fact. It can be verified. It does not contain any opinions. In the first sentence, A, the word seems indicates that it's an opinion. On C, it, the word should indicates opinion. On D, the word best indicates an opinion. Opinions are statements that contain a writer's feelings or beliefs. They are not true or false. They contain just one person's viewpoint. For example, people who read newspapers are stupid. Well, obviously, there are many people who do enjoy reading the newspaper. So this author's statement contains an opinion. Here is a short list of words that can indicate an opinion. Should, best, seems, most, good, better, worst. Now, let's look at a question example. Which of the following statements contains an opinion? A. Daylight savings time begins next weekend. B. The University of Maryland requires a 3.0 GPA for their nursing program. C. We should be sure to get enough sleep every night. D. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the third Thursday in November. So take a moment, look at those sentences. The correct answer is C. We should be sure to get enough sleep every night. 
The first sentence A, daylight savings time begins next weekend. That's a fact. We can verify it. The next one B, the University of Maryland requires a 3.0 GPA. That is a fact. And it can be verified. And then D, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the third Thursday in November. That is also a fact. We can verify it. And notice on B and D, there are numbers in the sentences. 3.0 GPA and third Thursday. Now that number is spelled out. But those are other clues that they are not opinions. Okay, to wrap it up, information that can be proved or verified is considered a fact. If there is a number in the sentence, it will probably be a fact. Opinions are the viewpoints of one person. Opinions are neither true nor false. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to producing another video shortly. I'm going to start this weekend creating English and language usage videos to go along with the reading ones. So please watch for them. If you haven't subscribed, please do so you won't miss any. Thank you. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you found my video helpful, please indicate it by hitting the like button. You're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos. Thank you.